Hey guys, Sean here. I wanted to show you a super easy way to use a Google Sheet as an update server for your application. Uh, so I've done this in my new favorite development environment, which is called Zojo, which makes uh, cross-platform development really easy. So I've done this in about 24 lines of code in Zojo that talks to a published Google Sheet uh, to look for download URLs for the updated software and new version and notes. So it was super easy to do. Uh, so let me show you how I did it. Here's my app. Uh, it's called Link Disavow Wizard, which is an SEO thing to help you find uh, bad backlinks that you have to your site and uh, tell Google to get rid of them, basically. So when you launch it, you'll see that it comes up and asks me to download a new version. So it says new version 1.0.4 available, tells me what's new, cancel or OK. And if I click OK, it's going to open up the page uh, and let me download it. So it opened up on my other screen here um, so you didn't see it. But let me show you what power is that. So here I have a Google Sheet that I set up uh, and I just have a couple fields and these crazy characters which uh, I'm using as delimiters um, to parse it. I'll show you how that works in a second. But the trick here is that I've done file, publish to the web, and when I've published it to the web, that means I can now access it using a special URL. Uh, and it comes up as a web page. Now further to that, if I format the URL a little bit differently, tell it alt equals JSON, then it gives me this cool feed file. So what can I do with that? Well, let me show you. I've just put a little routine in my software that lets me parse that out. So I'm sure there's a better way you could do this. Um, but I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time figuring it out. So I chose the simplest method I could think of. And that was using that crazy delimiter to pull out the different fields. So this is really just 24 lines of code. I have a couple more lines in here because I have a live sheet and a staging sheet for testing. Uh, because this tool actually is out there live now. Uh, but all I'm doing is I am pulling that URL using socket.get and I am taking that whole response. This line of code is actually not relevant. I'm taking that whole response and I'm splitting it into an array using that delimiter character. And then I see if the array is small, then something happened. It didn't get all the data uh, or it didn't connect. And it gives an error message. And then it uses the delimiter character to parse out, uh, to split the array and uh, split the array by that delimiter. And then I can count the items in the array to find the bits of data that were split out by their position in the array. So the Windows download URL is position 3 in the array, the OSX download position 5, and the update text position 7. And then I just check the application's version against the version that I got from the update server, which is again just that Google Doc that I split up, and uh, prompt the user to download with whatever URLs I put in the spreadsheet and tell the user what's new, again, with the data that I put in the spreadsheet. Now the cool thing is, whenever I make changes to that spreadsheet, it updates and uh, publishes immediately to the web. So I can have people to update their software from the sheet. They never have to go to my own server and I can put the files up for download on some third-party service and always have a correct link through the software and uh, it's free using a Google Sheet. 
So hope you found that interesting. Uh, I was pretty proud of myself when I figured that out. Uh, please disregard the messiness of my code. I'm sure there's a better way to do what I just did, and if there is, feel free to tell me because I'd be very interested. All right, that's it. Thank you guys very much, and uh, I hope this was useful to you.